Oh boy, I'm excited. Got a story to tell you guys today. I am excited for the story time to tell you guys today. So basically, I'm going to tell you guys the entire story, starting from the beginning, and I'm sorry for you guys that have heard this already. So my boyfriend Devin and I moved to Texas in January of 2020, so we're pretty new to this neighborhood, and we don't know everything. Like, we don't know like the area the people anything like that so after a while of us being here we started noticing this orange cat which many of you guys know by the name of straighten but we started noticing him coming by pretty pretty frequently and you guys know i absolutely love animals like that is my number one love in life is animals i have a dog and two cats and i've always loved them i used to intern at a zoo animals are just like my thing you know i, I love them so so much so me being me i wanted to feed this cat because he would come by every single day so i got him wet food dry food water i got him his own little outdoor like house that he could sleep in if he wanted to with a blanket and like some catnip toys and stuff like that and i started feeding him every single night and every night really really late at night he would come back and he would eat an entire meal and yeah we have a ring doorbell so i would watch him every single time he'd come by i'd get a notification that he was at the front door that there's motion at the front door so then i would watch him and i just got so teary-eyed seeing him outside because he would eat and then he would just sit there and it looked like it was like he was calling my name like i love animals and now that i'm like financially independent and live by myself and it's not like my parents or my family's decision i was like you know what i'm gonna catch this cat and whether it turns out he has a home or we have to like rehome him or we keep him whatever it may be i just want to like catch this cat and give him a good home because he's so sweet he like he just seemed like the cutest cat and i i really just wanted to give him a nice safe loving home just to make sure that he was healthy and, and happy so i started the process of trying to go outside whenever he would come by and socialize him so whenever i'd get a notification on my ring doorbell app that he was here i would try to go outside i started going out the front door and then i realized really quickly that he's very very scared super skittish so he would just run away immediately and i'm like okay this isn't gonna work so then i tried going from the back door and like sneaking around going out like through the gate of our backyard to the front and like seeing if, if i could just like get him comfortable with my presence and that still wasn't working he would get so scared every single time if he just heard any type of noise the front door unlocking the back gate opening anything like that he would just book it and so i realized I had two options. I could either spend hours and hours and hours every single day waiting outside for him to get there and hoping that he would just like come and still eat and not be bothered by my presence and eventually get more comfortable with my presence to the point that we could socialize him and catch him kind of with it, like his own like will you know not forcefully but I realized that wasn't gonna work and that's not really practical so we invested in one of those live animal traps where you put the food in they walk in the door closes behind them it's safe like it's humane yada 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 so we got that and a winter storm hit like very very bad like not common at all for texas and that hit right before we were planning on catching him so i was really worried and that definitely like encouraged me to speed up the process so you know one night we put the trap out we put some food in it and next thing we know we caught him it was so easy we captured it on the ring doorbell app he walked in door closed behind him and we had him so we set up a spare bedroom with a whole bunch of stuff for him we got him a nice cat tree his own cat tree all of his own stuff separate from what my other cats have so he has a cat tree he has a bed he has a scratching post he has his own like food and water dish and we got him a water fountain too to encourage him to drink water i did a lot of research i made a vet appointment for him he's already had one vet appointment because i really am concerned with his well-being and just want him to be healthy and he's not at the point where we can take him to to the vet because he's still very scared which you guys will hear why because something crazy happened today but anyways so i've been doing everything that i can to make sure he's healthy happy and we're just in the process of socializing him and trying to get him comfortable with us so that eventually once we know that he's healthy and um he doesn't pose a risk to my other cats and my dog then we can start the process of introducing them which is like a whole thing on its own but we'll get there eventually so you know in the back of my mind i've always wondered where did straighten come from by the way we've been calling him straighten <laughs> in case you didn't know it kind of started as a joke but it eventually turned into something i don't know we just kept it i'm a very sentimental person and since we started calling him straighten and you guys know him as straighten i 
just i don't know it just became meaningful and i kind of like it so we've been calling him straight in even though we didn't know if he was a boy or a girl or anything else about him um and i've always wondered i'm like you know where did this cat come from who is he like i'm fairly certain he doesn't belong to anyone i did like my duty and um made sure that he didn't belong to anybody the last step was having him checked for a microchip but i was so certain based off his behavior and how scared he is how dirty he was and everything i just knew i knew deep down that he was a stray but today i was scrolling through facebook don't make fun of me i know i use facebook i'm a boomer um, but i'm in all these facebook groups i'm in one for like the city one for my neighborhood and i saw this post about this orange stray cat and whenever i see something like that it always sparks my interest and i was like well that's not straight in but i was just reading through the comments and this woman, this is gonna get confusing because I, I guess I could use fake names. I don't wanna put their real names because obviously like, hello, uh, I, I can't tell the story with their real names. But I saw this woman and we'll call her, we'll call her Amanda. So Amanda commented and she tagged this man, we'll call him John. And she said, at John, is this? And then the name of a cat. And then he replied and he said, unfortunately not. Like the cat has a lot of white on him. And he posted this picture and I was like, oh. I was like, that's straighten. I was like, that is straighten. And so I commented, I replied to his comment and I, I said, John, his name's not John, but we'll just call him John. I said, John, are you missing the cat in this picture? And um, he said, not exactly. He's the neighborhood feral kitty and would come by to visit quite a few of us. We haven't seen him since the snowstorm. And so then I started digging deeper and I clicked on this guy, John. I clicked on his profile and I started investigating some posts from him in the, um, the community, the neighborhood uh, Facebook group. And it turns out this cat straight in is the neighborhood feral cat that's been a stray cat for three over three years and nobody has been able to catch him he is just so scared everyone feeds him everyone's like super concerned about him he's a stray that nobody has been able to catch and then me Devin and I we just show up we set a trap out and we catch him and now he's ours and he's in my house <laughs> so I was like mind blown I started seeing all of these old pictures of Strayden like when he was a little baby and like all these people feeding him there's also this one someone posted a picture of him in their backyard and he was limping so he was injured and then there's this other one of him just casually napping in the front yard they were like the stray cat the stray cat came by and apparently he's just napping in our front yard so i have all these pictures of straighten look he has a whole secret life look at him so we've been uh conversing and this man john and the woman what did i call her <laughs> what was her name amanda so amanda john and i have been having conversation talking about straighten and apparently they were all super concerned for him they've been like feeding him for so long but he's so scared and no one's been able to get close to him at all and no one has been able to catch him so yeah i just showed up we took him <laughs> and i felt bad because they had no idea and they were all super concerned with him and i went through and like i said i was going through this facebook group and i saw post after post after post about him and i was like oh my goodness i have a famous neighborhood cat and he's mine now so we did find out i've been asking some questions to pick their brain to hear what they know about um Strayden. and he is a boy Apparently, he's also not neutered, which would explain why he peed on my rug. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much all they know about him, besides that he's been astray for a while. He goes in everyone's backyards, everyone feeds him, and no one has been able to get him. So, yeah, he's mine now. Um, one thing I will say that I'm concerned about is apparently he's a bully. Some people commented, I, like I said, I was creepy on all of these Facebook posts, and some people said that he beats up their cats. And I'm like, okay, this is not good. So I'm preparing myself to possibly look into rehoming him. I really don't want to get attached to him because, he, I mean, maybe. I'm hoping everything will work out and he'll be nice to my cats and everyone will be, will be able to live in harmony. But, you know, my cats always have, like, the number one priority, um, my two cats that I have. So, yeah, we're going to eventually, once he gets uh, comfortable with us, which is going to take a while now that we found out that he's been astray for three years, no home for three years, isn't that crazy? crazy but yeah once he finally gets comfortable which I, I think it's definitely gonna be a long process it's gonna take a lot of patience a lot of work and even despite that he's so sweet and he's so gentle and although he's very fearful and he you know he hisses he's he's a little you know he's like aggressive with his behavior but he doesn't bite he's not he's not aggressive like 
like biting scratching aggressive he's just very 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 scared um so yeah hopefully once he's comfortable i definitely want to get him like neutered at uh the bare minimum because definitely cannot have another cat peeing in my house <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna get him a vet appointment gonna get him vaccinated gonna get him neutered and then um if everything checks out and he's healthy and like i said he doesn't pose a risk to my other pets then we're gonna start the process of introducing them and if if it works out if they end up being happy with each other and like living like i said in harmony <laughs> then we'll keep him um but if not if he is even like mean to my cats at all or is aggressive towards them or starts like being mean to them then i'm definitely gonna look into rehoming him to someone else in the neighborhood because he's a famous cat and i know i feel a lot relieved more relieved now that i know that there's so many people in the neighborhood that i know for a fact would provide him with a great loving home because he's a famous cat he's literally famous so yeah if, if he like you know like i said my cats are my number one priority and i would hate for them to to be uncomfortable and to have their personality change because they become fearful of this big orange bully cat that starts beating them up and attacking them because there's actually quite a few people that commented that he beats them up so yeah that is the entire story of the famous cat straighten <laughs> yeah i was so surprised to find out about that um so i'll definitely keep you guys updated i've been i've been trying to keep you all updated but there really hasn't been any crazy progress or anything just little things here and there you know we pet him more every single day we still feed him he's getting more comfortable he walks around the room i picked him up at one point like the front of his body and just like lifted him because i'm just trying to get him comfortable with me touching him and again he hisses and he growls but he doesn't bite he just he's so scared and, and now like i said we know why because he hasn't had a home maybe ever um so yeah it'll be a process but i figured you guys would like to know that uh -huh.